cash, I'm a bad boy. Wanna get off my ass and get to the cash and get in my bag, boy. What's up y'all it's bam if you're new hi welcome to my channel and if you're not welcome back and i'm just gonna jump straight into this video so i'm going to be bleaching some hair today and i'm taking some quick blue bleach and i'm taking about six scoops and putting it into my bucket after i'm done putting my bleach in i'm taking some 40 volume developer and i'm going to fill it up until mm, about until it's a little over halfway full so i'm gonna keep pouring my 40 volume developer i ran out right here so i'm gonna get another one and i'm just going to keep on pouring it until it's a little over half so i think this is good right here so next i'm going to mix up the bleach and developer together until it's like a liquidy smooth consistency you want to get all the clumps out of the bleach so that's what i'm doing here So this is the consistency you want it. You want it liquidy and runny. I didn't get all the clumps out, but I got most of them out. So it's okay because we're gonna do a bleach bath anyway. So for my bleach bath, I'm going to take some boiling hot water and pour it inside my bin until it's like index finger deep. And then I'm going to pour my bleach inside the water and I know it's a little clumpy right now, but I'm gonna show y'all how I get all the clumps out. So after getting every last scoop of bleach out the bucket, <laughs> I'm taking my wooden spoon and I'm going to stir the bleach inside the water. But as y'all can see, it's still a little clumpy. So I'm taking my hand and doing this little hand motion right here. I don't know what to call this, but I'm doing this hand motion to get all of the clumps out of the bleach. And y'all must think I'm crazy because I'm putting my hand inside boiling hot water but I do have on gloves so you cannot feel the water's temperature at all with gloves on so don't think I'm crazy y'all I would never put my my actual hand inside boiling hot water but the gloves are protecting it So the wig I'll be working with is a 26 inch kinky curly lace frontal wig from my company Arts of Bam. My Instagram is at the top of the screen. So I'm just wetting it a little bit to prepare it for my bleach bath so it can be easier to dip. So this is how the hair is looking once I ran it through some water and it's wet. So now I'm going to start dipping it inside the bleach bath and I'm going to dip it and dip it and dip it until like all the bleach is saturated throughout the hair. I think I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush the bleach bath like through the hair so everything could be saturated evenly. So this is me taking my brush and brushing the bleach bath through the hair, making sure everything is nice and evenly saturated through the hair. And I think I'm going to do this for about two to three minutes and then I'm going to let the wig sit inside the bleach bath for an hour.
so after I'm finished saturating the bleach bath through the hair as y'all can see it's turning a little bit so what I'm gonna do now is push the wig down to the bottom of the bin and let it sit for an hour so after about 45 minutes this is um, how the wig is looking and this is kind of the color I'm going for but I want it a little bit just a little bit lighter so I'm going to do another bleach bath so as you can see I'm pouring all the old bleach water out and I'm going to prepare for another bleach bath So I'm basically going to repeat the same steps that we did for our first bleach bath, the boiling hot water and then put the bleach inside the bin and mix it up. So that's what I'm doing here. And y'all, I didn't put all of the bleach inside the bin, but I'm going to show you why in a minute. So I didn't put all the bleach in the bucket at first because I wanted to save a little to put some on top of the hair and um, saturate it through the hair evenly like that with a brush. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but um, hopefully it makes the process a little bit quicker. So that's why I did that. So I'm going to evenly saturate it through the hair with a brush and then I'm going to let it sit for about... 15 to 20 minutes so right here I'm just putting a little bit more water inside the bin because I didn't put enough and now I'm just gonna continue to saturate my hair with the bleach bath evenly and detangling it making sure to like just saturate the hair make sure y'all saturate the hair really good because you don't want any like dark spots or like light spots in your hair so you want to saturate it real good so now i'm just gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so this is the color that i wanted like a golden brown color so now I'm going to move on to the watercoloring process. So I'm putting some boiling hot water inside my bin and I didn't have enough so I used just regular hot water from my sink and filled it up a little bit more. So now I'm taking this Berry Red by Kiss and Ruby Red by Adore and I'm going to put both of those inside the bin and mix them together and start dipping my wig. So I started to dip my wig inside the color mixture and I'm basically going to do this until I'm satisfied with um, how the color looks on the wig. So I'm basically going to dip it and dip it and then add more of the hair dye and then dip it some more and so on and so forth. So y'all can just watch me dip my hair and I will come back once I'm satisfied with how my color is looking. And I'm also using my wig brush to saturate the color throughout the hair evenly. So you guys don't skip that step. And it's also going to detangle the hair while you're watercoloring it.
Okay, y'all, so I'm satisfied with this color right here. And I think it turned out so pretty. Like, this color is so beautiful, especially when it dries. So wait until the end, y'all. Y'all go see how pretty this color is and how vibrant this color is. So I'm just going to dip it a couple more times, and then I'm going to take it out of the water and rinse out the dye. So right here, like I said, I'm just rinsing out the dye until like I get most of the dye out the hair because we're going to wash this hair anyway. So I'm just getting most of the dye out the hair before I wash it. So now I'm taking some silicone mix by Bamboo. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is basically used to revive your old damaged or bleached hair. So I'm putting a lot of silicone mix on my hair because it's going to make my hair super soft and it's going to bring it back to life and revive the wig so as you can see I'm taking a lot of silicone mix and I'm running it throughout the hair and then I'm going to brush the silicone mix in making sure to saturate the whole wig and then I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and then rinse it out So this is how the wig looks with the silicone mix sitting on there. Like I said before, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and then rinse it out. And then after I rinse it out, I'm going to start my regular wash and conditioning process. So I'm going to shampoo and condition the hair. And I'm going to let my conditioner sit on for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. Yeah. 